Hey guys, how are you? It's been a minute. <laughs> I just wanted to check in and um, encourage you guys. Uh, I know another prophecy just came true the other day with the Philadelphia train derailment. He said it would happen again. Or I'm sorry, Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky train derailment. Um, anyway, I just want to pray. And, you know, I saw some comments the other day that people were saying that I can't say the seven words, you know, because I say all the time that Jesus Christ comes in the flesh. He bled and died on the cross and rose on the third day. But they were using the King James Version. So I did comment on it and say exactly what they said, the seven words. You know, and the spirit of Antichrist can't do that. Um, I try not to let anything bother me. Um, but it's been a lot and I look up to Jesus every day. I pray to Jesus every day. I worship him every day. I love our Lord so much. And <laughs> so the Lord revealed to me yesterday that there is a Judas in our group and there's lots of division right now. And there's fiery arrows coming after me. He told me to make this video, not to start anything, but just to get it out <clears throat> before things start. And unfortunately, there's gonna be lots of persecution coming my way, even more. But the good news is, is I have Jesus. I love him with all my heart. And he's always there to protect me. And when the group started coming against me, not all, he prophesied this to me before it would happen. He said, my child, there's about to be persecution coming your way. And he said, it's gonna feel like knives in your heart. And he said, it's gonna feel like getting shot with a bullet but he didn't tell me where it was gonna come from. <sighs> Sorry, it's a little sad because, you know, the Lord put me together with this group and now I know why it was for his purpose, his glory. What's gonna happen is, you know, they're gonna say some things that um, I have a divination spirit they're gonna say I left my husband, which, you know, we're separated right now. And I don't wish any bad ill for any of them. I love them and I pray for them. But basically what's gonna happen, the Lord revealed to me that when all this goes down, they'll start making videos. They're gonna start talking about it. And he's basically gonna hold my hand through it all. But it's for his glory and his purpose because the Pharisees are gonna run with it. <clears throat> and after all that's said and done, he will come. So time is very short. You know, he said that the planets of Orion had to be aligned this week and literally all of that is coming together and more prophecies are gonna fall, he said. <clears throat> but I wanna encourage you because no matter what happens, when the world comes against you, consider yourself blessed because they came against him too. And he loves us all. He has no favorites. It's been a little hard. My dog died yesterday, Dobby. I had him for 16 years. He was 17, I rescued him when he was one. So that just broke my heart. I had to put him down because his organs were failing. 
but the Lord told me a couple days before that, he said, my child, he doesn't have much more time left. And the Lord gave me a prophecy, a dream. It was either a dream or an out of body. Hey guys, sorry, I had to clear some phone. Um, my storage was full. Um, but anyway, so, you know, about Dobby, it was really it was heartbreaking. Um, Cause I loved him like a child. <laughs> I don't have kids, so he was like my kid. But the Lord did show me after he passed, um, a, a glimpse of Simba, my boxer collie that I had to put down um, before all the prophecies started, before Christmas. Um, he showed me them playing as a puppy in heaven. And that really just was so beautiful. And okay, um, <clears throat> on June 17th, when I, it was June 18th when I had that dream of going to heaven and it was so beautiful. It's either a dream or an out-of-body experience vision. I've only had one out-of-body experience vision and that was when I saw my dad die when an angel took him. And the Lord showed it to me because I was five hours away and I couldn't get to the hospital in time. Um, so basically in the dream, Dobby was being raptured with me and Jesus was there and Dobby could see and everything and it was so beautiful. And um, I think the Lord was trying to show me that after Dobby's gone, because I've had this revelation before, that we would go shortly afterwards. Um, <clears throat> and that happened yesterday. So I don't know exactly how all this is going to play out. I do know that um, I love Jesus very much. And I love the group very much. And forgive anyone that's ever come against me online. And I love you all. And I know not everyone understands what's going on, but before the group came to me last night and said that Leviathan is in the group and there's a divination spirit and all that stuff, he told me, he gave me scriptures. He gave me over 31 scriptures. Okay, guys, this is how Jesus works with me. When he gives me something, he gives me tons of scripture tons all over the Bible I don't have any scriptures memorized and all I know <clears throat> is the prophecies haven't changed you know the Lord speaks I do everything he tells me to do it's obedience I wish no harm on Daniel I love him I wish you know, I just, we didn't make it as a couple. Um, so I left. But I felt like it was ordained. And that's another thing that people won't understand. And they'll say that it's divination. But I know our, I know our Jesus. I know his love that he has for the church. And people are still under works and they're still acting like Pharisees. And our God is full of grace. And here's the thing, guys. Every day, I pray to Jesus, and I say, Jesus, if there is a divination spirit, if there is anything that is unclean, if there is anything that is coming against me that is not in your will, Lord, I ask you <laughs> to take it away. I pray that all the time. And our God is so loving. I know that if there was something there, our God would deliver it. Because he wouldn't let someone who's given up everything for him just fall like that. That's not our Jesus. But I love you guys and I thank you. And I wanna tell you that there were people that came to me before this months ago and they said, you have a Judas in your group that the Lord revealed this to me. 
and I didn't know what they were talking about, but now I do. So God always reveals his plans before he's about to do something. And I am strong because I have the Lord. I have God. I have Jesus. And everything I've ever done is because I was led by Jesus. And in my heart, I will never, ever change my faith or waver from that. So Lord, I pray that you lift these people up. I pray the ones that come against you and persecute your church, I pray for them, Lord, that you bless them and that you change their hearts, Jesus. And I can't wait to be with you at the wedding feast. I can't wait to be with you like I'm with you in your dreams. And I know Jesus is speaking. He gave me the light show in my backyard. He showed me him reading the scroll. I was standing right next to him. In the rapture, I kissed him on the cheek. And he showed me Dobby and he told me to wake up the children. So I want you to take everything to Jesus. And you look at my fruits from the time that I first spoke until now. And you ask yourself, what is true? I love you all. And Jesus loves you more. And ignore the people trying to scam you on YouTube. I will never ask you for money. And I never monetize. They're collecting it, not me. I've proved that in another video. God bless.